Hello and welcome. Alan Plum here again with a little more from Shed Engineering. Now a couple of videos back I did a mock-up of a canal and working weir. Now I didn't really expect many to be interested in actually modelling a, a canal weir. The mock-up was mainly to demonstrate a flexible drive. I did at the time pose the question how do you think the weir is being driven but no one to date has taken a guess. You can see the wall is angled back quite severely in the hope of creating some intrigue and you can clearly see that any drive shaft should be coming out straight through that wall or embankment. I also said it was being driven by my battery drill and obviously that's not in shot or hidden there and so to drive the weir at such a, an acute angle as that it's going to take uh, quite some ingenious device well there's the ingenious device simply net curtain wire the spring uh, plastic covered net curtain wire uh, that you would hang net curtains with obviously simply used as a flexible drive going well over a foot totally unsupported the net curtain wire was simply hot glued into the little roller that I was using the curtain wire was threaded through the uh, canal wall and uh, the roller put in position Right, now let's push this very cheap and simple flexible drive to its limits. First let's uh, uncouple it from the drill and start the complicated and lengthy task of joining and extending the drive shaft. So just with a piece of uh, wire and some hot glue and approximately 45-50 seconds we have more or less joined the flexible drive and extended it. How far has it been extended? Well to be honest I'm not sure. I didn't measure it. I actually ran out of the specially designed expensive eyelet bearings you need and had to make do with some precision engineered wire bearings to complete this highly technical demonstration. Sorry about the dog air on the floor, I've been stripping Purdy Dog and obviously the totally bizarre meandering path of the drive shaft is not a necessity with the curtain wire uh, basically being a long spring you can get a slight delay in the transmission or a slight uh, speed variation as the spring tries to unwind and wind up but uh, we are pushing the limits here but at a higher speed that's far less uh, noticeable and if you consider the distance that it's been driven over then uh, I think it's pretty reasonable. OK, very few people would use it in that form. Most would fit a motor. That was just to demonstrate the possibilities. But have you considered where else a flexible drive could be used? How about for operating signals? OK, perhaps not if you've got dozens of them. But for the odd one or two, it seems quite a plausible idea. Again, it must be pretty obvious that I spent very little time on any of these uh, mock-ups. This signal and drive shaft took no more than 15-20 minutes and as you can see the wire I have used is bending and I've tried to uh, reinforce it with hot glue. OK, this may well be the age of electronics and uh, it's much easier to fit a solenoid motor but then obviously you need the control system etc and it starts to get complicated 
the age of a mechanical connection between signalman and signal is probably long gone but as you can see with its flexibility it could easily be retrofitted and operate nicely over several feet but what if you're totally mad and want that little bit extra that no one else has got yes opening farm gates but not just opening farm gates this is probably the smoothest opening farm gate you'll see in a very long time see the drive shaft is coming in vertically from the bottom through a very crude but simple bracket that took just a few minutes to make the hexagon washer made from plaster card is taking the weight of the drive shaft and stops it from dropping down a wire glued to the gate comes through the baseboard and is simply hot glued into the flexible drive you could easily have the same kind of setup for a child's uh, child's roundabout in a playground or something like that doubtful that you would want it uh, running all the time to have a uh, motor fitted so you could just run the drive shaft back to a, uh, a suitable position put a handle on it and uh, you could simply wind the handle transmitting the drive down the flexible drive to the uh, roundabout you could have a drive shaft with a handle on it uh, leading to a water wheel at the local mill. You could even have a weather vane on a church spire turning, uh, turning with a uh, changing wind. That would confuse the grandkids and onlookers. The same flexible drive could be fitted to the stem of the water crane instead of using the uh, sliding strimmer cord that I demonstrated a few videos ago. No reason why ground signals couldn't be operated this way and that's to mention but a few things. So there we go I hope you found something of interest or that it's given you some food for thought. Thank you to all the new subscribers, subscribers that's really appreciated and remember click the little cogwheel next to the subscribe banner if you want reminders when videos are posted and as always many thanks for watching